another boring unboxing. Oh yes, fragile. I can see that the uh, post office really cared about that one. But let's see what is in this one here. I'm afraid to cut it too much here. It might be too damaged. Oh, well, they were prepared apparently. The, well, let's cut the tape here and see what's in this. Very well packaged. I gotta cut the tape twice. This is why the box unboxings are boring. Open, open, open. Wow, what do you know? Z's gonna like this one. Medici, the card game. Interesting. I wonder if it's better than Medici. I'm not a big fan of Medici, but man, the artwork by Vincent Dutrade here. This is a really nice game. Or the way, really nice look to it. Wow, let's look at those cards. Come on, this thing was fragile and made it, survived. Let's see. Let's see, 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 see. Nice. Wow, really nice rule book. Wow, metallic coins. Grail Games makes really cool looking stuff. Look at that artwork. One of the best in the business for sure. All right, well this box is in slightly better shape. So let's see what's in this one here. It's a longer, flatter game. Ghosts love candy, but Tom loves candy. Am I a ghost? All right, it's a Steve Jackson game. I'm assuming it's kind of a take that game for kids. All right, cool. All right, well, this one here is from Osprey Games. Oh, this one's a nice and easy one open. Well, I spoke too soon. All right, there we go. What's inside this envelope? Zubal, the king of sports. What? See, this is another one of those ones. Look, on the back, it doesn't even show you what the game looks like. I don't even know. I never heard of this game. Um, but, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't know anything else about it. Opening it up. What? That's it? Just a giant mat? Wow, it's a huge mat. A giant mat and a few pieces? That's the whole game? Is it a flicking game? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Wow. I mean, that's that's really, really a few pieces. All right. Zoo ball. King of sports. Better be the king. <laughs> All right, this is a small one. What could this be? All right, well, let's open on the side here. There's a letter inside and some small games. The end is nigh. I guess that's a expansion. This one's actually in a box. Mystic Ape Games. All right, and then private die. <sighs> well, I hope they're good. A little small boxes, we'll have to see. I'm not a big fan of expansions being sold in these kind of boxes, but hmm, well, we'll have to see. Well, this box has a bit of a chunky weight to it. I mean, it feels like it's quite full as opposed to some of the other boxes that I've opened. So let's see. Oh, there's two games in here. Destination X. Oh, ooh, yee, ah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this game. This one is a port of games. Are you the spy or a detective? Where is a spy? I'm playing this tonight. Oh man, I am super pumped about this. Um, let's take a look a little bit at what's inside. A handbook, top secret. I'm gonna look at it. Okay, I'm not supposed to look at it. All right, and cards and rules. Nice, I'm very, very pumped about this. Yeah. Okay, so what could be inside this one here? This one's from Japan. If Z was here, he'd be super excited right now because he loves when boxes come from Japan. I do too, not as much as Z. All right, what do we got in here? Captain Dice. All right, it's a good name. Well, there's dice in it. I'm assuming these are the rules for Captain Dice. Yep, this is from Essen. This is the game that's coming to the spiel. Oh, there's several games in here. Shinobi Just, Time Bomb Evolution. 
This is the game that the Time Bomb was originally made into. Don't mess with Cthulhu. Um, Sweet Honey Bee Mine. Oh, that's a disturbing cover. And Ars Combinatoria. Very good past and a good future. Well, you can't argue with that. What could this be? It's from WizKids. I'm always excited with WizKids because in a box this size, it usually means one thing. Am I right? I am Dice Masters Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. I like Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, let's open one pack, see if we get an ultra rare. All right. Uh, this one. All right, let's see. What do we get in this pack? Nebula and Daisy Johnson. Good vibrations. And Nebula. Well, I like Nebula. She has a lot more hair in this picture. Um, yeah, her icon is actually very similar to what it looks like in the movie. But anyway, cool. All right. Let's try another pack. Maybe we'll get a rare and another pack. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we got Rocket Raccoon. Wow, ultra rare, guys. What's the luck of that? Star-Lord. While well, Star-Lord is active, your other Guardian character dice gain Call-Out. But I don't know what Call-Out means. Let's look here real quick. Call-Out. When a Guardian character attacks, attack away when they leave a Oh, okay. Cool. So it's kind of like taunt to some degree. Nice. All right. We'll have to look at the rest of these later. All right. Let's see what's in this box here. Yeah, blue-orange. I wonder what it could be. I really like getting stuff from Blue Orange a lot. All right. Oh, it looks like another fun kid style game. This one looks Dr. Beaker. Ooh. Ooh. Is there anything else in here? No, that looks like that's it. All right. We got to open Dr. Beaker and see what's in this one. Seems fun. I hope it is. Shake it, stir it, solve it. From the makers of Dr. Eureka. Oh, I got to Ooh. I don't even know what I'm doing here, but it feels fun. Huh, cool. All right, let's see what's in this package here. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is from the guys who made um, Two Rooms and a Boom, Russian Roulette. World Championship Russian Roulette. Well, I've always wanted to be the champion of that because I think you, you, you stay alive if you do, right? Hmm, interesting. All right, let's see what's in this box here. All right, next, Joyous. And King Frog. And some Brain Games. And Refruit. Viva Topa. Oh. Okay. This looks like a... Huh. I'm kind of interested in this one. Who makes this one here? From Matigo? It's a Matigo Kids game. All right. Cool. All right. Let's see what's in this one here. The Wonderful Peanuts. One box here. Sure, Luke. Oh, yeah, this is from CMA. We played this at the convention. I really like Sherlock. It's a lot of fun. Cool. And another box. This is from the same. This must also be from CMA. What, what, what is it? What is it? It is Banana Bandits. Oh, man. Oh, well. This is not a fun game, but some people might like it. And now a small box here. What's in this one? I'm gonna have to... Cronia. This one's pretty heavy for how small it is. Z and then played this. You can see a live playthrough in our channel, but I haven't played it yet. Huh, interesting. Well, this one here is pretty heavy, but so we're gonna have to see what's in this. More than one game, I would guess. Ooh, there are four games. All from Queen. So let's take a look here. Tip tap. This is like puzzle pieces in it. Well, let's open this one up and see what these puzzle pieces look like here.
Hmm. Those are interesting. Nice big puzzle pieces. You know what the T stands for? Terrific. Also, Tom. And do you know what this one stands for? I don't know. But let's see what other games are in here. We have Templar's Journey, which is something about knights. Twelve Thieves, which is a Spiel des Jahres. Uh, a remake of an old Spiel des Jahres nominee. And High Tide. Oh, uh, too bad for that dude. Shark and Wave and Bird Poop. Just a bad day all around. Oh, I hope these are good. And another big box. Will this one be as full as, as many games as the last one? Maybe. Here we go. Now this one looks really neat. Solaris. The inside. Look at that. That looks really cool. Um, I hope it's a good game. Who's the designer? Bridget and Wolfgang Ditt. Hmm? No, no. We have Captain Silver. This was nominated for the Kinder Spiel des Jahres, the kids game. So that one seems like it will be fun to try out. And then Metro. This is an old game. There's a reprint of this classic one from Dirk Henry, you're connecting roads. All cool games, I think. All right, so we're gonna end this unboxing today with this Food Service Cares that they ripped up my package here. And whoever sent this decided to put the, the card Cannibal on the outside, which is, you know, hooray, I'm glad the post office knows that I'm a cannibal. Oh, wow, that would be okay. The Donner Dinner Party. A game of frontier cannibalism. Yeah, I'm not super pleased about that one, but hey, it is what it is, and that's the end of another unboxing video. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com.